people who are struggling, but this, it really puts us in a bind. I mean, this is our only vehicle. This is what we use to get from point A to point B. And now that this has been taken away from us, I mean, it, we can't drive this van at all. It's not operational. Well, the pleas of a nonprofit are answered. The other night, 12 News showed you this security footage that you see there on your screen. Now, it shows a suspect stealing the catalytic converter off of the van of the Humane Society of Southeast Texas. And after our story aired, the community flooded the shelter with support and donations to help out. That's right. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker has been following this exclusive story, and she's here tonight with the exciting developments. Gloria, talk about this next chapter. Well, Jordan, Leticia, the shelter is just very thankful for all the support they've received following us sharing their story. And now the van will soon be back on the road. The staff at the Humane Society has been through a roller coaster of emotions. When their catalytic converter was stolen Sunday night, days later, Southeast Texas comes to the rescue with donations and support pouring in to help them get back on their wheels. The community jumped in less than 24 hours to help us get our van repaired. Uh, to attempt to secure us a rental. In the meantime, uh, Mr. Baker with Baker Auto Repair has been fantastic, and he was not the only person who called in offering assistance. From towing the van to Baker Auto Repair and him vouching to float the cost for the nonprofit, Tim Baker says it's a nice thing to do since he has a personal connection to the shelter. Cats that we have at home right now, we got from their, from the Humane Society. And uh, so, you know, they're a good resource here in Beaumont. And uh, we just felt like it was a good thing to try to see if we couldn't help them out. A great thing for Baker Auto to do since these catalytic converters can be expensive to replace. Very expensive to replace those components and they can run anywhere from two to five thousand dollars to replace those on particular types of vehicles. The animals will have their own wheels soon as they just towed the van to the shop today and Taylor with the shelter can only give his gratitude. All I can say is thank you. I mean honestly from the bottom of my heart Thank you guys. It means a lot. And if you did donate in the name of the converter replacement, just give them a call on where you want those funds to be spent at the shelter. In studio, Glory Walker, 12 News.